right, hello there, my name is Paul, I'm also called Nate Hack, and I'm the brains, so help me God, behind Nate Hack's Daily Teaser, and the blog, Nate Hack's Old Peculiar. Um, if you didn't know it, please feel free to have a look, and please be aware that it's on the Google Blogger platform, um, which I've been using to publish my work for the past 12 years. Um, now, I, like everyone else who uses Blogger, are going to be migrated to the new blogger interface on the 25th of August of 2020 when Google retires the older legacy interface and to be honest with you I'd rather not I'd rather they didn't do that I'd rather they didn't retire it and I suspect that I have that in common with a lot of other bloggers that use the service now the new interface they're using um, is aimed at mobile users. It's aimed at you people using phones and tablets to access the service and to post the service. And from what I've seen of them, it looks like it will work well on phones and tablets, and it will look like it should give them not much in the way of problems. Um, however, I'm using the desktop version on Safari version 13, the desktop version of Safari on uh, Mac OS 10.15.6 Catalina and from what I've seen I and other desktop users desktop users having very similar issues um, for a start the system that lets you add labels that groups related posts together that seems very laggy it really is gross I can copy and paste a set of labels into the old legacy version quite easily I can't do that with the new version, nor is it easy to type them in one at a time. It really is laggy. Um, you can't, from what I see, you can't use Spotify embed code to embed a playlist, nor, ironically enough, considering it's also owned by Google, can you use a YouTube embed code. You can't embed a playlist in. You've got to use... Uh, the, the pre-prepared YouTube thing and if you do use the embed code for Spotify or for Google, uh, YouTube you end up on publication with a garbled mess. The same happens when you use the basic HTML links uh, in the body of the text. Things like uh, embedded, embedding a link in with the A uh, tag or using italic or bold or big tags. Uh, again, once published, those are turned into a garbled mess. Now, as a final insight, um, as a final insult, the auto save feature seems to have been turned off. At least I couldn't see a way to turn it on. Um, I published a post this morning and didn't realise auto save had been turned off. So when it got published. I only had half a post. I had to redo the lot in the legacy blogger. Uh, it, it, it turns out there is a save feature on the preview, um, but you, there's no auto save version. You have to manually press that every so often. That to me is, especially in this era when every word processing dock and every single entry, you, every single bit of software you use has an auto save feature turned on by default. It's a little bit naughty of Google. Like I say, I suspect the new interface will work very well on mobile platforms, on iOS, on Android, on whatever mobile device you happen to be using. But it is messy to the point of unuse unusefulness or unusability on a desktop platform. It's, if we wish to stay productive as bloggers, we need to be doing way too many alterations to make sure of it. Um, like I say, it looks good, like it will be good on mobile, but it isn't on desktop. And I can only hope that by the 24th of August of this year, Google will have made some substantial changes to allow for embedding, also save, and basic HTML links. Thank you for watching. If you're a fellow blogger, please feel free to leave me a comment. I'll 
catch you later. Have a good day.